Hey guys, thanks for tuning in to SimTech channel. This is a variable transformer or a variac. So what is a variac? Basically, what you see here is a large coil of wires, right? So it's basically a single primary coil. So we know that a transformer is basically made of a primary coil and a secondary coil. Well, a variac, just like an auto transformer, have only one coil. Well, if it has only one coil, how then do you achieve your properties of transformer, which is supposed to be the ratio of the primary and the secondary? Well, that is because of this bite boy here. So those bite boy here, as you can see under here, we've got some form of a tapping. So there is a carbon brush, okay, carbon brush that is tapping through the primary coil. So what it means is that you've got a primary coil and then your secondary is taken from a common uh, neutral and a tapping point that will go throughout this primary coil, okay? And by creating a secondary varying uh, voltage. So basically, this is considered as a potentiometer. So we all know what a potentiometer is, a variable resistor where you will be changing the resistance value by tapping through uh, along the carbon. So to put things in perspective, this is how an electrical uh, diagram of a variant look like. So you've got your input voltage, which is your AC mains, that is being fed into a single primary coil. Then your output here, which will then be your secondary, right? Your output voltage will be taken from a common neutral connection and your life on the output will be taken from a tapping point. So as you can see, this tapping point is the carbon brush that I just showed you here, which is hooked to this wiper here, okay? As we turn around, we are basically going from here all the way up. As we move the wiper from the bottom, all the way up there so what is happening is we are changing the resistance of the coil so by varying this wiper from down here all the way up we are basically changing a number of turn and when we change a number of turn that's affect the inductance value that is available on this coil so by changing the inductance value we also changing the magnetic field that is produced the emf or the output voltage on our secondary. So it is important to note that a variac is not a step down transformer, nor it is a step up transformer. It's basically a variable transformer. So what you're going to feed here on the input, so if it's 220 volt AC or 120 AC, your output here will also going to be clamped to whatever the maximum input is. But the only advantage is you can change now your output from zero all the way to 120 or 230, okay? While your input remaining fixed at 220. So that's the advantage. So it's variable, basically like a potentiometer that can give you multiple uh, voltages on the output of its wiper. So this is in short how a variac or a variable transformer is supposed to operate. Now, if we can come back to the physical part here, so you can see there is a blue wire here, okay? So this blue wire is connected to the, the carbon brush, okay? That is a tapping point. So now I have a voltmeter here. This is basically just a voltmeter to measure the voltage, okay? So the blue wire is connected on the output. So this is going on my output side as per the indication here, you can see input and output, okay? So that's going on the output. Then I have a common neutral point, okay? So that's coming from the input and it is connected to this uh, metal bar here. And that's also going on the output. So my voltmeter here is just pro between the two terminal of the output. That's how you connect a voltmeter. Then uh, my input, basically the common neutral and the one terminal that will be bringing the live 
connections that is also connected on the input side as you can see here so obviously this is where i'm going to feed my input voltage okay from the mains okay and that's going to go through the coil and now by changing the position of the wiper i can affect what i want on the output okay enough talk about that i'm going to now just measure with a multimeter the resistance value as we change the wiper because remember this coil here is made of copper right and it got a small resistance uh, value that is going to drop along the copper so coil so as we change the wiper position there's going to be a change in the resistance value as well but it is so small that it's actually negligible and depending on the amount of current you're going to draw here there will be some losses as well on the system but these varia they actually they have a very good efficiency up to 95 98 percent efficiency so i've got my multimeter connected on the output side of my variable transformer as i've shown on the electrical wiring diagram so now when i start moving the wiper position you can see there is a change in the resistance value that is being tapped so this is an internal resistance of the coil okay so by changing it as we've said we're changing the inductance or, or, or value or point on the coil and that is also going to affect the change in the magnetic field or the emf that is going to be induced on our output and that will result in a varying voltage so this is basically how a variable works now as you can see when i rest it there i've got an effective uh, resistance value of 22.5 ohm and if i go all the way back right close to the neutral point and i have a resistance of nearly zero ohm so this is obviously uh, an experiment of just the resistance value so we have to now connect it to an input voltage so that we can see also how by changing the position of the wiper we can get a voltage on the other side now to test this it is important to note that a variac right on its own it's not isolated as you can see there is only a single primary coil and like with a transformer where you're going to have two coil that are primary and secondary that don't have any electrical connection right so the only power transfer is done magnetically but here it's not the same situation so it's not isolated so if i put in a, a mains to 30 or 120 volt mains here and i'm tapping it on the outside i know i'm directly tapping onto the mains so it's not isolated and it's very dangerous so to just make an experiment quickly here i'm gonna use this box here so in this box here if you can see there i've got the transformer here which is a step down transformer it's stepping down from 220 volt to 19 uh, volt ac okay so i'm just going to turn it on so i'm going to use this probe which are connected on the output connection of that transformer right so i've connected uh, the output of this transformer which is a 19 volt transformer onto my oscilloscope probe here so that we can measure the signal so i turn it on right now we can observe the signal on the oscilloscope you can see the signal is out of scale right so if we can just zoom in okay right now all i have to do here basically is to change the scaling so let's just increase the scale there we go okay put it 20 there okay now we can see that we are measuring 19.1 volt and that is 50 hertz so that is a step down transformer that's taking from the mains okay and then we are stepping it down to 19 volt right so now we can go ahead and test uh, the variax so basically i'm going to now change the connection here okay so that is from the input of uh, from the output of this transformer i will now put it on the input of my variac and then move my oscilloscope probe onto the output of the variac here okay so that's going to be easy peasy to do 
so let's just turn off here for safety right okay so i will disconnect my probes okay then we move it onto our variable transformer input okay so now we are feeding a voltage okay then i'll move my oscilloscope probe to the output of the variac here now when i turn it back on okay and if we can observe the oscilloscope you realize that there is absolutely uh, nothing to display okay and that is precisely because my tapping point is at zero volt okay so i'm going to turn off here and i'll just move this variac on top here so that we can see uh, as we are tapping through right now let's turn things back on ensure that everything is where they're supposed to be this is important for safety okay then i turn back uh, my transformer again there now we can go back to the oscilloscope here now everything is connected as you can see that the signal that we are measuring on the oscilloscope is basically nothing because the variac here is resting at a smallest or if we can say tapping point which we saw on the multimeter was indicating like 0 0.9 or 1 ohm resistance now as we start moving the wiper you're going to see there will be a change in the uh output voltage as we probing on the oscilloscope there so we left everything as is the scale is still at 20 volt right we keep moving we keep moving now the signal have stabilized after we've moved the trigger point there now we can keep going all the way all the way now how much are we getting now now if we can see there we are at 18.8 right 19 and we're going slightly higher 21.8 volt so this is effectively a variable transformer as you can see that we are changing the output voltage on our variable now what kind of application can you uh, use uh, this because now remember your ac mains is coming in as a fixed it's either 120 volt ac or 230 volt ac depending on which part of the world you are so now if you want to work on a voltage that is smaller your only option is getting a specific uh step down transformer okay which sometimes are not easy to get exactly what you want but with the variable transformer variac here you can basically you get any output voltage of ac you want to test your circuit on and do your development from there now here i'm using a 19 volt uh, step down transformer to feed obviously for safety i don't want to use a 230 volt here because i don't have an isolation but you can pretty much connect any uh, voltage you want onto the input of this variac and assuming that the variac will withstand any uh, type of load you're going to connect to it so that is very important because if you overload your variac it's going to get hot and this thing can actually explode so it's very dangerous to make sure that you remain within the specs of your variable transformer as you're doing your test right so that is it for this tutorial and if you find it useful and like it please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to Simtech channel for more tutorial of this nature and hit the bell so that you do not miss them in the future. Thank you for watching. Until next time, cheers.